Hi all, I have another fascinating Sicilian Sveshnikov game to show you. This is Komodo 13.02 against Leela ID 61185, game provided by DCAP, Fast and Furious 3 minutes with a 2 second increment time control, and the start position is in the topical Sicilian Sveshnikov. So we have uh, this position, knight d5 on move 7, knight e7, end of book, and we have actually Komodo playing c3 so this is interesting actually it uh, means that maybe there's this idea of queen a4 tactically which needs to be addressed and also the parking space is available for the knight if it did want to reroute to c4 later so uh, black has to be careful here uh, the common trap a6 for example there's queen a4 pinning that pawn and threatening uh, double checks and here is a total disaster so that's a common trap you need to be aware of as a Sicilian Sveshnikov player uh, so here knight f5 was played though Lila not falling for that a4 that parking space used no queen a4 here it's interesting in the Caruana uh, Carlson World Championship playoff uh, matches uh, queen a4 was used in similar positions with a pawn on c4 to go to b4 interesting plan hitting d6 directly very early on so here we don't get d6 pressure we have actually uh, g6 bishop d3 bishop g7 queen b3 though what's the queen doing on b3 here black castles white castles rook e8 rook e1 bishop d7 and now actually we do have queen b4 putting pressure on d6 a6 is played the knight goes back we see now after knight a3 b6 knight c4 hitting b6 and now b5 a takes is played uh, here if knight takes d6 knight takes queen takes there's a little trap here leader set bishop f8 uh, if a human was playing this maybe but not against the computer it's winning the queen here so a takes bishop takes b5 bishop e4 and we have uh, Lila giving up the light square bishop voluntarily so often it's the prelude for a dark square campaign is that the case here if Lila had played rook b8 then knight a5 is possible the knight's going into that potentially nice and secured c6 square uh, so here white's got a small edge so taking off that knight before it's doing any damage with knight a5 queen takes and now a5 so trying to dissuade maybe b4 as well sometimes as well as not being a target there as much at the moment rook a4 knight h6 so this liberates this f pawn uh, if knight h4 the problem is bishop d3 and queen, you can see here both pieces are looking at h4 basically encouraging that knight to move back otherwise it's just taken so that's a bit pointless if the knight has to move back so knight h6 pardon me knight h6 queen e2 f5 now so black's king side is seeing some action uh bishop d3 rook f8 bishop b5 rook b8 the bishop entrenches itself so this seems to be a common theme of many uh, ab engines they seem to add weight to entrenching pieces uh, maybe it does restrict this rook more but as an entrenched piece the slight subtle downside it's away from the king is has king safety being compromised in this situation with the four to three pawn majority there's a bit of a pawn roller situation to handle after f4 with the immediate f3 looking like it's dangerous uh, white puts a stop to f3 immediately with queen f3 knight f5 rook e e4 and we see rook f7 rook a2 bishop f6 Rook e a4. So this is a nifty way, it seems, of ganging up on the poor a5 pawn. Is Leela worried? Bishop g5. Not really, it seems. Queen d1 is played voluntarily. f3 now. So white is allowing the dreaded form pawn g3. Uh, with the bishop putting pressure on c1, if queen takes, we just take with black that c1 bishop. So g3 leaving the dreaded form pawn. We have queen f6. Bishop takes, queen takes. And now queen e1 is played, interestingly. Uh, so this is a very interesting 
possession with a5 being offered all the time as well but there does seem to be an incoming uh, if if taking it does mean that e4 is then possible and then maybe e3 so maybe white is not wanting to take there for various technical reasons so queen e1 was actually played on queen takes f3 as well there's check and there's a nasty can you spot it black to play here what will black play in this position five seconds knight h4 check yes check the forcing moves this will be winning the queen with a big advantage so queen e1 leaving that form pawn h5 h4 queen h6 uh, the rook is protecting this pawn so there's no knight takes the rook can take so queen h6 b4 is played g5 queen d2 uh, here just to get some flavors of the possession b takes g takes the king side undermining uh, is dangerous and this blockade would put a spanner in the works on the queen side okay a whole rook is tied up but actually it seems as though black can build up uh, the position here on the king side this is just an example scenario where even with the rook on a7 it's enough for the other pieces to keep working on the king side for example this is is going to lead to a big advantage for black with connected past pawns so yeah very interesting scenario so queen d2 not b takes a5 uh, we have actually now g takes h4 offering the exchange of queens queen takes knight takes g takes h4 check rook f1 rook g2 so white is now taking that a5 pawn finally so is this a really bad ending for black or is it a really good ending we do have a uh, potential here a target here which would create a pass pawn we also do have a running pawn now in the center as well potentially knight g4 bishop d7 e4 and now e3 looks quite tasty potentially we have check and actually here we see bishop takes g4 hg so this brings a pawn towards the center is there a scenario when there's two connected past pawns check king f6 rook goes to attack d6 here rook h2 so threatening here immediately rook f rook rook h1 chatmate so king g1 and now we see g3 is Lila creating another past pawn f takes is played giving black two connected past pawns the problem is here if h5 then there's actually can you guess what black can play here if i give you five seconds in this position this is possible because if king takes then we just queen and in fact if rook takes then here uh, rook takes h5 and this is menacing because that form pawn there's ch there's things like for example here check and rook h1 so this is very very dangerous so white is actually forced it seems here to give black two connected past pawns and even though white is uh, a couple of pawns up three four five one two three couple of pawns up this looks very dangerous now after e3 connected past pawns are worth their weight in gold we have h5 if we look at this position this is critical position instead of h5 uh, if rook a1 the black king can actually go to f5 and here just king g4 this is really menacing actually after king takes g3 rook h8 the checks are a bit token and black is crashing through really like this uh, if we look at this again so with rook a1 uh, again king f5 uh, as long as black doesn't play e2 because that allows king f2 with a nice blockade to so keep the uh, the two connected pass pawns fluid uh, so king f1 um, if king h2 let's look at king h2 now king g4 just e2 and the thing is f2 is queening yeah the king has stepped away from f1 critically so yeah there's all sorts of uh, nasties here which are winning uh, if we look at at move 49 here king f1 this scenario king f5 rookie eight the thing is here e2 
and here there's actually f2 check and queening so yes they're crashing through it seems so in the game we saw h5 yes it's a disaster for white rookie 8 c4 e2 and this is going to be winning a rook now yes this is very very unfortunate uh, what's happened here so yes allowing e2 uh, just winning a whole rook it doesn't matter that white's free pawns up uh, this is absolutely winning for black after rook c1 the pawns are not really going anywhere the game ended here yes so Lila really you know having a crushing position there with the two connected past pawns so we saw that the uh, Sicilian Svechnikov here in this example game can lead to great end games sometimes if you can get those central pawns going. Uh, if you want to check out resources related to the Sicilian Svechnikov and how Magnus Carlsen has been playing it recently and in the past, check out Kings Crusher TV slash Magnus. There's a free short and sweet course there with trainable variations. Well worth checking out by I Am Chess Explained. So Sicilian Svechnikov has been rising in popularity and there are great uh, example games to check out from the engine world as well to help us understand some of the ideas which might be useful especially when Leela's concerned giving us some amazing new ideas as well okay thanks very much